Hey legends, how we going? So um, it's been about a year since I've had my uh, MW toolbox canopy. So I thought I'd do like a yearly review on it and what my thoughts, honest thoughts of it and the stuff that I've had to get fixed and um, the process of that. So we'll get stuck into it. Um, so I really do love the look of my canopy. It is a nice looking canopy, don't get me wrong. Like I know the MW toolboxes ain't a dear one, but you get what you pay for. So that's that's the canopy there. So the things that went wrong. Okay. So as you can see on the edge there where it's been hitting it was stuck out this door wouldn't close so it was stuck out like about here and I've got pictures that I'll put up with this of how they tried to bend it back into place And both of these doors were out like this far. Um, what they did to fix that was put a bigger rubber on here. And um, all the, well, I think it's on the other side. Yeah, it's on the other side. So all of this side, you can, I don't know if you can see there, but all the powder coating has cracked. They did give me a new guard for that one, but I did have to push that. So this side as well, this was pushed out. So I um, ended up going up to having to go to Sydney. They told me that they could fix it here in Canberra, um, but then they said, no, we can't. So I had to take it up to Sydney. So mind you, this is all in three months of owning the canopy. These problems came along. Um, they did, they tried to say that I stuffed the canopy um, by doing all of this on the inside. So like it's not fixed stuff. Um, it is all reinforced, so I've got a reinforcer, 300 kilos is meant to be able to go on the roof. Um, and all I've got up there is the awning and the basket. So, ended up arguing with them for probably near four hours. And um, they tried to say that I stuffed the canopy, that they weren't going to fix it. Um, so I, I pretty much said to them, look, it's three months old. Um, you need to fix it. Like, prove to me how the canopy's warped when it's meant to be reinforced. Um, they also tried to uh, say that this canopy wasn't made in Australia. When I brought it, um, it was made in Australia. Uh, so ended up complaining to the manager down here in Canberra. Um, he was near Sydney at the time and he ended up coming up to the MW toolbox place in Sydney there and Him and the regional manager because I did make a big stink about it like 10 grand like No, it's a cheap canopy, but 10 grand is still a lot of money um, I just pretty much said to him look if you're not going to fix it take it off give my money back I'll go somewhere else simple as that um, they ended up coming up to me and saying that I had to trim a little piece of the bottom flooring there. I said, yep, fair enough, I can do that. Um, and mind you, this was six hours later. Um, they took us on a full tour of like their um, workshop there of where this canopy's made to prove it to me. And I said, well, that's, I said, why, why is he telling me something different? Um, 
and they tried to turn around and say to me that it was the uh, language barrier that he could speak easy English he understood what I was saying I understood what he was saying um, yeah so and all of a sudden it was all fixed so they just end up putting bigger rollers on the under tray toolboxes there and I wasn't happy with how they tried to bend the door back like I said I'll put the, you would have already seen with the pictures up um, yeah so I got all that fixed um, I got new tail lights put on the back because the um, the the orange uh, red and white ones they had all like um, residue on the inside of the tail light um, every morning when I came outside so I said no nah, don't want them give me these other ones um, and these are obviously a much better looking tail light uh, so basically I hadn't had to go back to them for another eight months and then I'll show you under here so up under here just here is meant to be a little lock that uh, stops this tunnel of drawer from being able to be opened easily so this little lock here um, it's completely stuffed like it doesn't do what it's meant to do uh, I couldn't shut my tundle drawer so pretty much it's been about a year to the date the canopy was fitted to this car right so you'd still expect that you get warranty on this like I would have expected warranty went back into the shop and they turned around and said to me no it's not warranty it'll cost you $35 for the lock fair enough 35 bucks is cheap but it's just that I've been mucked around so much and you'd think still well it's a cheap part it should be under warranty and I said to them well when I asked them to look up my details and when was the uh, canopy actually fitted to the car and they tried to say to me it was at the start of February um, I'm pretty sure it was fit around this time, around the 10th of March last year uh, because I had two weeks to pretty much deck the inside of this canopy out to go to Malt Island for me and my missus um, anniversary so they told me that it was fitted at the start of February and that my warranty starts the date I purchased the canopy so I ordered this canopy so it took them six weeks for them to be able to book me in so I lost six weeks of warranty there so I was just like well that that's not right it's it's six months us oh, sorry not six months six weeks of where I didn't get to use my canopy and what what if it was a three month wait or something like that or a six month wait you lose half your warranty off your locking mechanisms and stuff like that mind you the canopy has two years the structure of it um, has two year warranty but all the whale locks and stuff like that like the other thing is the um, central locking I got on the two main doors the one on the passenger side uh, driver's side here it plays up so uh, didn't even bother worrying about that I'm just when it fully stuffs out I'll just have to lock it manually which is not hard it's a side that I don't really go into so that's just like got the swag and, and the clothes in there so whereas this side is the kitchen side pretty much but my my experience with them was not great at all um, it, it's just the after sales customer support with these guys is absolutely terrible um, they, they don't want to fix nothing, they just want to charge you for everything. Um, like I said again, like I understand it's a cheap canopy, but it's it's just like my honest review on this. I don't want other people to like, you know, like it's a fair chunk of money out of your savings for something like this. Um, I don't want someone to go through the same of this or like they can be aware of um, what's happened. 
Um, yeah, so it's just honest review of it. Um, apart from everything else on it, it's been awesome canopy. Um, it's it's perfect for what I need. It's just those small couple of things. Um, whereas when I think something's going to break, it's it's going to take a long time to try and sort it out, which it shouldn't when you spend that kind of money and you have warranty. So I just don't understand with the whole um, from your purchase date, like your order date, is when your warranty starts, which I honestly feel that's not right. Um, yeah, so I don't know. Um, if anybody else that's got an MW toolbox canopy, um, feel free to write in the comments about your experience with them. I would like to know like how many people have been pretty much stuffed around with this. Um, hopefully, hopefully not a lot, but you know, they are a, like again cheap canopy, but there's no way I could afford to spend like thirty thousand dollars on a canopy. Um, but I've enjoyed it. I've gone up quite a few rough tracks. Nothing, nothing's bent or moved. Like if if it was my fault that the canopy's warped, like it would have warped so much more by now. The tracks that I've been up and put this through. Uh, also, the other thing when I got it brand new, my canopy's dirty, but I don't know if you can see there in the camera. There is a dent here, a dent there, and when you go around to the other side. There is also a dent here. So I don't know if that can be seen on the camera, but being a gloss black canopy, they uh, this the mind you that was brand new when it got fitted onto the car, and they tried to say to me, "What what do you want to do about it?" Uh, I wanted them replaced, but I like I said I had two weeks until I was heading up to Morton Island, so I couldn't exactly tell them like get me some new doors and I want new ones um, so I ended up just doing a bit of a deal for them got some money back and got the rear ladder on the canopy and the free central locking but to get that out of them again was just insane like it was it was like a couple of hours of trying to talk to them about it um, but they they tried to say they didn't know nothing about it but Anybody would know that any dents on a gloss black paint job or powder coating or anything like that is going to stick out very easy. You're going to notice it. Um, but yeah, just that's my honest review on it. Don't get me wrong, like I say, love the look of the canopy. It is a nice canopy. Has served me well. It is waterproof dust proof now that they've fixed it they put an extra seal actually yeah that was the other thing this canopy this door was leaking a lot of dust in so you can see how there's a lot of dust down here and there's actually none in the canopy itself so they ended up putting a uh, where is it extra extra seal on here and this here when I put the insulation in that just seals that bites in a lot more so they end up putting like another seal along there and ever since then it's been awesome but again that was hard hard for them to get them to do um i have been told if you put like a little vent somewhere here um it stops like the pressure inside the cabin so that's uh, probably my next thing but i have had no dramas with it um but yeah if you've got any questions or anything like that just hit me up in the comments um, yeah just just really really thing that's put me off about it is the uh, after sales customer support um, they just want to charge you for everything and not fix anything under warranty so this that's just basically a heads up about it um, look if I could do it all over again I wouldn't go through this company uh, just for the pure fact of how much of a hassle it is with the warranty side of things 
getting it fixed. Um, but yeah, don't know what else there is to say about it. It's been good. From from there, like like that lock, like under like the same thing again. Like I said about that lock, it's cheap. Um, it's a cheap cheap fix, but it's the whole um. It's, it should still have like a little bit of warranty even if it was a week out of warranty a lot of places will um, go righto yep it's a week out of warranty we'll replace that for you for being a good for customer support you know but they didn't want to have a bar of it they were rude um, so yeah basically that's about it but yeah don't know what else there is to say about it Apart from it's been a pretty good canopy, it's, it's definitely done what I've need to do on it. Basically, we've lived out of this week, two weeks, I've been perfectly fine. Everything can be put away in there. So it's been pretty awesome. So, yeah. Well, hopefully you enjoy this video. Um, Hopefully this helps some of you people out that are deciding to get a canopy. Like yeah, they're an awesome looking canopy. It's just if you get one, just be prepared about the uh, after sales customer support. Um, it'd be very hard and difficult to deal with. So, but yeah, apart from that, it's been an awesome canopy. But yeah, thanks for watching. If you like this video, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Give us a thumbs up and comment in the. Uh, in the comments if you've got any questions about anything and like I said your experience with it let me know definitely um, it would be nice to know that I'm not the only one that's had all this drama but that's just my honest review on it so yeah cheers legends have a good one